Hello everyone, welcome to a day in 15 minutes, a current affair in CT by NEOIS. In today's topic, we will cover the uh, current affair topics of 16th July 2021. Now, these are the topics which we are going to cover today. The first one is drone rules 2021 and then the sedition loan, deficit monsoon rainfall, then Doppler radars and horticulture. Also, we will look at the, we will go through the previous uh, uh, question revision series. We will discuss the last videos uh, question the answer we'll discuss today also we'll i'll give you one more question to solve so without wasting much time let's start the first topic is drone rules 2021 so recently the government the ministry of civil aviation has came out with new drone rules which the overall idea is to simplify the drone drone rules in india and uh, uh, because of this rules like it has been given out to the public uh, the comment and based on this, this is in news and we look at the details regarding the drone rules. So the general idea regarding the drone rules 2021 is that they are trying to simplify the process, right? So this rule will replace the unmanned aircraft systems rule which was notified in March 2021. So the, the new drone rules would replace the unmanned aircraft systems rule, right? So this simplified drone rules abolishes the need of certain or large number of approvals to be exact the uh, the number of the forms reduced from 25 to 6 okay so the basic uh, basic idea is that it would be easier to uh, own and operate drones in india with like you know the number of forms being reduced reduced and the various approvals being abolished okay now then these digital sky platforms shall be developed as a business friendly single online system now this topic separately is important we look at this digital system platform in the next slide so the imports of the drone and their drone drone parts has been regulated under direct trade general of foreign trade okay so basically like uh, we want to let the this drone industry grow from india itself uh, manufacturing our own drones and our own products and thereby the import would be regulated by the direct trade general of foreign trade Okay, now another one more key thing regarding the drone rule you have to notice is that the issuance of certificate of airworthiness of a drone, right? How airworthy a drone is, right? That certificate usually was uh, given out by the Director General of Civil Aviation. Now it has been moved on or delegated to the Quality Council of India. And this is another change according to the dro new drone rules. Now, as I told you, let's look at the digital sky. A digital sky is an initiative under the ministry of civil aviation now why it is used because to have a highly secure and scalable platform to provide no permission no takeoff which means that we can analyze whether a drone is having permission and that uh, takeoff can be uh, like you know stopped actually so this is actually trying to give the permissions to uh, these drones and to operators digitally okay so the mission of the digital sky to enable smooth and secure operation of UAS means unmanned aircraft and RPAS remote piloted aircraft right so we need to enable a smooth and secure operation of both of these under the preview of the rules and regulations which are prescribed by the Ministry of Civil Aviation as well as the Director General of Civil Aviation so keep this in mind what is this digital sky it is important from the perspective of prelims examination uh, you see this word digital sky in, in news in the, I mean you see this term in the news in the context of okay and also you, you have to remember that this is under this initiative is under the uh, initiative by the Ministry of Civil Aviation okay now moving on one more topic which is important regarding this drone rules few uh, few weeks earlier the government had given a relaxation under this the already existing the unmanned uh, aircraft rule so the government had the accept i mean gave, given and exempted the survey of india to use these drones right so regarding that a scheme was in news which we which was discussed in pib right so this is also important so minister of civil aviation and director general of civil aviation has granted conditional exemption to the survey of india right from unmanned aircraft system okay the drone deployment permission has been granted for large scale mapping of uninhabited areas of villages under the central scheme survey of 
villages and mapping with improvised technology in village areas so mithwa right so remember this scheme this scheme is also important so the scheme aims to provide an integrated property validation so it is aiming at a uh, integrated property validation solution for rural india so regarding this drone rules you need to know the special provisions under the drone rules also the digital sky platform also the scheme which we discussed just now right so now moving on to the next topic which is sedition law now sedition law it has been a colonial era law and uh, it has been like you know, largely or highly criticized by the Sup supreme court recently this chief justice of india criticized uh, the use of the misuse of the sedition law okay so the the, the, the ipc is like you know 124a section has been given here so please read it and we'll look at what uh, what is this sedition law and few details which are important from the perspective of your prelims examination so the first thing you have to remember is sedition law and the section is 124a of the ipc indian penal indian penal code okay now this one thing the the, the foremost thing that the supreme court has uh, pointed out is that the conviction rate under this sec, uh, sedition law is very minimal or very less right it is even less than 3 percentage which shows that the executive agencies are misusing the power of the sedition law right so any like this sedition law which is like in you know, a broad scale with the definition is very broad and it can be used to squash the dissent against the government okay so it has been misused to large number of times in recent years especially after the 2016 the data shows that large number of sedition cases has been uh, has been imposed against activists students and etc noticing this and criticizing uh, based on the use of the colonial era the the sedition law the supreme court has said that like the need to go away with the or move away from the sedition law or or to define the boundaries of this sedition law right so few things you have to keep in mind the sedition is a non bailable of offense under the current rules the punishment under the law varies from imprisonment up to 3 years to a life term or the fine and it is a non bailable offense and recently the uh, one activist like a you know, tribal activist uh, died and this was came into the forelight again it was in news for i mean it was in news like you know for the recent years and because of this like you know, the recent event this has again come to the limelight now few details regarding the sedition law this origin of the sedition law was introduced in the penal code in 1870 and it was largely used by the british administration to uh, squash the uh, freedom struggle and the famous personalities that were victim of the sedition law was one the bal gangadhar tilak and the next one was mahatma gandhi and the gandhi himself said this regarding the sedition law the prince among the political sections of the ipc designed to suppress the liberty of the citizen right and sadly we are still using the sedition law in our uh, largest democracy against the citizen okay so there is actually pro and against section and la the recently like uh, the supreme court has criticized the use of the sedition law or the misuse of the sedition law okay now one famous judgment uh, regarding this is kedar nath singh versus the uh, state of bihar right and in that case the supreme court had upheld the validity of the sedition law the the part belonging to the cpi the communist party the kedar nath had like you know criticized in harsh words against the against the then ruling the congress party and uh, based on that the uh, the the supreme court actually upheld the validity of the sedition law at that time right that is a very famous case please remember this and based on this a provision introduced by british to put down the freedom struggle should it continue to be a law in india right the discussions are open and in the coming days we will be reading more about the sedition laws log in to neoias.com go to courses and click on current affairs select cap 2021 proceed to check out and pay now moving on to the next topic the deficient deficit monsoon rainfall in the month of july okay so it has noticed that like you know the month of july so initially when the monsoon was making onset it was forecasted that we would be having a good monsoon rainfall and the june till the last week it was going good and the end of the june and the july onwards like till now the monsoon is deficit because of this deficit rainfall 
and the sowing of the Karif crop is been delayed. The Karif crop, like the, we have season based croppings like Karif, then we have a Seed crop, and we have like Rabi crops, right? The Karif crop they need more rainfall. So, usually when the monsoon makes onset or two weeks before that, we sow the seeds of the Karif crop. And because of this deficit rainfall we are facing now, the sowing of the Karif crop is hampered or is being delayed. And please remember that the sowing of the crop is related with the onset or the amount of monsoon rainfall. Okay, now that was one point you have to keep in mind. Then, regarding this, this data shows that the 2000, 2021 till July, right, we are comparing the area which is sown with the crops, various crops, the area which is sown, we are comparing it with from 2016 to 2020. Right, and these red lines all show the negative, which shows that the paddy. Right, you can see that most of the states, the paddy, the the area zone has reduced, mainly attributed to this uh, the deficit monsoon rainfall. Right, and few crops, the area has increased, but most of these crops, like you know, the the area has been reduced. So keep this in mind: the area zone of major these crops is being reduced because of the deficit rainfall. That's the key point you have to remember regarding this. Okay. So, the delayed monsoon rainfall or the amount of monsoon rainfall is less which can delay the, the area zone regard of the Karif crop. Moving on to the next topic which is Doppler radars which was in news again regarding the Indian monsoon. Now, the Doppler radars we are using this to forecast the monsoon rainfall. Okay, so basically what it, what it is that it uses the Doppler effect. Doppler effect means that like in a particular uh, frequency of radiation the frequency would change when the object which is producing this frequency, producing this radiation moves, right. So, if we have an observer, if we have an observer and there is a moving object which produces the, uh, this frequency, right, the radio waves or any sound or light, this frequency of this sound or light would change as this object is moving with respect to the observer. A simple example would be ambulance and approaching ambulance the sound is different and in the ambulance which is moving away from us this it would sound differently okay now this doppler radars they're using the doppler effect to detect the raindrops right so as seen in this picture like the, the symbol diagram the ra the radio waves would be emitted as they like you know reach the rain droplets they, it would scatter this radiation and some part of it would reach back to the observatory. So, with, with this we can actually measure the intensity of the rainfall and whether it is approaching or leaving the weather station these kind of data we will understand. Now, we look at more details regarding we we'll look at more details regarding the Doppler radar, radars. So, in radars a beam of energy called radio waves is emitted from antenna when it beams rakes an object in the atmosphere the energy scatters in all direction reflecting directly back to the radar. So, the more intensity, if a larger object, more intense radiation would be coming back to the observatory, right, the radar. What makes a radar, uh, Doppler radar special is that it can provide information on both position of the target as well as the movement. So, where this uh, object is and whether it is moving or not, this can be detected by the Doppler radars, okay. Now, the India's coast, like you know, the eastern coast, we are having more Doppler radars for the right reason because those regions are having more frequently affected by the tropical cyclones and various like in you know, places like I am not reading them out the various places in the eastern coast we have the Doppler radars and in the western coast it is there in the uh, Thiruvannadapuram, then Cochin, Goa as well as Mumbai and recently the Mumbai the Doppler radar in Mumbai is under repair and for that reason also it appeared in news and recently also it is again uh, like you know, not working as of now. Now, so we have some more radars at the other places as well. But remember this, we have more Doppler radars in the in this eastern coast than the western coast and it is used to forecast weather events. It is also used to forecast the monsoon rainfall as well as the tropical cyclones. Okay, now moving on to the next topic. The horticulture production, right? The second advanced estimate of horticulture production was given out by the Ministry of uh, Agriculture. Based on this, India has recorded highest ever, highest ever horticulture production. 
Now, under horticulture, we have fruits, vegetables, flowers, etc. comes under the horticulture. Now, based on this data, current data, we have 2.93 percentage increase of horticulture production when compared to the previous year. But there is a catch here. So, mostly the increase in production is related with vegetables, spices, medicinal and aromatic crops. When it comes to floriculture regarding the flowers, the production declined by 7.17 percentage. Now, recent years, UPSA has, has asked questions like, area under the cultivation of rice is more than oilseed or more than wheat. Like this area of under cultivation, or the area of the crop zone or the production, the data is based on the data is given out by, given out by the uh, government as well as the economic survey in recent years are very important. So, we do get uh, agriculture based questions based on this data is given in the uh, economic survey. Now, regarding this PIB, this was given in PIB and we look at some charts given in PIB which is of importance. So, first here the area in production of total horticulture which increased it is 329.9 uh, megaton and pre previous period it was 320.5. So, the area of the total horticulture increased even during pandemic keep that in mind right. Then when it comes to the fruit crops also there was a slight increase in the uh, the estimate right the production as well as the area as well increase. So, here also you can see that the blue graph given here is area which has increased over the last period also the production has increased right and the area in production of vegetable crops similarly the area of uh, the vegetable crops also increased as well as the production as well increased. So, the horticulture except the flowers is actually having an increase in area as well as the production keep that in mind. So, here in this chart you can see the major fruit producing state. The major fruit producing state is Andhra Pradesh. Okay. Similarly, the major vegetable producing state is West Bengal. Right. The 15 percentage. Now, do not get confused with this 21 percentage because it is others. Right. The so major uh, fruit producing state is Andhra Pradesh and major vegetable producing state is uh, West Bengal and if we consider the entire horticulture, the major producing state is Uttar Pradesh. Keep these three states in mind. They do ask questions based on these uh, recent data in the economic survey as well as given out by the government. Okay. Now, the topics are done and we are moving on to the previous year question revision series. Now, this was the question that was given in the last, uh, last video and there are few international agreements of setups given here and subject has been given. This, is, this was a current affair based question, right? And uh, for the various reasons, all these were in news, okay? And here I am not going to the explanation. There is not much to explain. The answer here comes out as C, which is 1 and 3 only. Um, please make sure you go through all these kind of like, you know, international agreements and organizations. Please cover them in holistically, especially topics like say regarding environment or regarding say climate change. They are very important, right? Now, they are not limiting these organizations to past one year. So, if you look at the, if you analyze the previous questions, you will understand that they are asking questions current affair as back as from like, you know, say one and a half or two years. Okay. Now, then this today is like, you know, the previous question revision series, the question I am giving you here, the gold tranche refers to, right? So, please post the video, read the question properly and comment down the answer. We will discuss the answer in the next video and I, I hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching and please like, share and subscribe. We will come up with more relevant content like this. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.